They're calling it a mortgage catastrophe, a potential homeowner time bomb. As more and more people come off five, three and two year fixed rate mortgages, having to remortgage at much higher interest rates, those monthly mortgage payments are going up at an alarming rate. What is the basic problem? The basic problem here is that the UK is still an inflation nation. Inflation in this country, the cost of living is 8.7% up in April compared to April 2022. And many of us will be feeling much more inflation than that. That's more than four times the Bank of England's 2% target. Well, what's the Bank of England been doing about that? It's been raising interest rates 12 times in a row, as this graph shows, all the way up from 0.1% those emergency rates during COVID lockdown. But even before then, rates were very, very low, all the way up to 4.5% now on Thursday. It may be that interest rates at the Bank of England go up to 4.75%, a quarter point rise, or even all the way up to 5%. And of course, that has a big implication for your mortgage rates, particularly if you locked in a rate two, three or five years ago when rates were much, much lower. Back in June 2021, the average size mortgage over a two year period, the fixed rate for an average size loan was 1.91%. In February 2023, after inflation surged, it went all the way up to 5.7%. And today, according to the website MoneyFax, the average two year fixed rate deal is at 6.01%. And every month, hundreds of thousands of households, their fixed rate deals are expiring and they're having to remortgage at these much, much higher rates. So what does that mean in pounds and pence? It means the average mortgage payment is going to go up from £759 a month to £956 per month as households come off these fixed rates and have to remortgage. That's an increase on average of £2,400 a year, a huge amount of money for any family. And that means that the pressure is rising on household finances. Average mortgage payments now have risen over the last year alone from 27% of post-tax household income on average to 33% of household income on average. And there's a lot more to come. That's why the polling company YouGov is already suggesting that 30% of us on those polls, on those opinion surveys, are already facing difficulties with our mortgages. Look, home ownership, it's at the centre of the British psyche. Many young people, they will feel that this fall in house prices, which we're already seeing, could be a good thing. It may help them getting on the housing ladder. But in Middle England, if you like, where elections are won and lost, this causes grave problems for the Conservatives when they ask at the next general election, do you feel better off than you were at the time when you elected us in 2019? For many homeowners, the answer will be no. They'll be questioning if the British housing market really is as safe as houses.